All right, welcome back to Metro's Analytics. Today we're talking about free agents. Before we get started, uh, I've been asked several times, hey, can you give me the underlying data or worksheet? Um, and I've always tried to figure out a way, uh, what's the best way to post the data. And, you know, I don't want to sit and email it to different people. Um, so what I've done is uh, partnered with AK's Gaming. So I don't know if you've followed AK. He runs a great YouTube channel. And I'm going to put a link in the description. He's also a uh, been a club mate over the last couple months. So I've gotten to know him there. Uh, he's created a Discord server. So, um, you know, a general... Uh, Discord server, people can ask questions, brag, uh, talk about advice and other stuff. Uh, we all have our club Discord servers, but this is a you know good good alternative to meet um, players outside your club. Uh, I now have a, a channel in that uh, Discord server called Analytics. So um, the best way I figured to share this is to um, post. Uh, the Excel files there and then, you know, get people to join that Discord server. So I'm going to put a, a link to the Discord server if you're not a member there now um, and you can look for the files there. All right. So today we're talking about free agents. How many free agent tickets should you expect to be needed to land a free agent? You know, so this doesn't include, you know, premium uh, skill change tick and uh, not skill change premium free agent tickets. So that's, that's its own animal, but you know, there's a lot of people, maybe you don't have, um, uh, maybe you're not in a club at high enough level. Maybe you haven't had enough time to uh, build up the, um, premium free agent tickets. You only can get two per week. So it takes, takes some time to build up 10, so this is looking at just using regular uh, free agent tickets. So sometimes you'll see comments, hey, I used eight free agent tickets and I didn't land my free agent. You know, is eight a reasonable number to expect to be needed? So this is kind of what we're trying to figure out. So there's two variables going on with free agents. One is you have a 1% chance of getting that free agent outright and then a 10% chance of moving the bar 10%. And once you have a full bar, you'll get them on the next try automatically. Uh, so how to simulate this, we can create a Monte Carlo simulation in Excel. So Monte Carlo, I don't know if you're familiar, it's a way to model things using you know, random numbers to, uh, help you simulate outcomes. So we have two variables going on. One is the random number for bar advancement. And so you're picking a number between one and 10. Um, and if you land a number one, you're gonna increase your bar. Uh, the other one is a, um, went to a random number to decide whether you can get it out right. So it's a random number between one and a hundred. So first ticket used. Um, so it's going to pick random numbers as you go up, you know, your bar is going to naturally increase if, if you uh, succeed in advancing the bars. And what this does is, once you hit either a hundred or winning it outright, it's going to um, mark a one over here. So you either either um, get a one on your uh, random outcome or you advance the bar to being a uh, hundred percent. So in this case, uh, you finally, I think your first, yeah, 
you finally got it after 142 tickets. So that's not a good outcome in this in this scenario. But what a Monte Carlo does is, you know, if you do this once in this simulation, um, it you know gave you a result of 142 tickets. Well, what if you did it over and over and over again? What's the average? What's you know what should I expect? So you can actually pull this off in Excel using a data table. Um, and uh, I'm not going to show you how to do it here, but if you look, uh, say, search Google or YouTube for um, you know, Monte Carlo simulation data table Excel, you'll find uh, results that teach you how to do this. So what this is doing is this is logging you know, the first attempts, 142, the next one's 80. Um, and you can keep doing this as, you know, as big as you make your, your data table. Uh, of course, the higher uh, number of simulations, the more your Excel gets bogged down. So what we have it set up for right now in the file that I'm going to share is 200 simulations. So over those 200 simulations, the minimum number, of course, was one. You, know, you can land a free agent on your first try. Uh, the important number, you know, that you really want to focus on is uh, 64. So on average, it took 64 tickets, uh, and the the median, another important number was 65. So uh, 64, 65 tickets. That's kind of the number to think about. Um, I also did this, uh, 6,500 times, <laughs> you know, it, it bogged down Excel, but I kind of, uh, hit run when, um, uh, I had nothing else to do and was able to walk away the computer for a while. And so this is just, this is just hard coded. So the average here, 6,500 simulations, um, you know, 62 times was the average. Uh, the maximum was 217. Um, poor sucker. But, you know, really what you should be doing is uh, generally expecting somewhere between, uh, this is the 25th percentile, and then the 75th percentile. It's kind of where I'd focus. So, you know, somebody who thinks they were complaining they didn't land a... Um, a free agent with eight tickets, well, you only have, you have less than a 10% chance of doing that because, you know, you're not going to advance the bar 10 times in eight tickets. So your only option is landing it outright. So landing it outright, obviously eight tickets, 8% 8 chance. Uh, the longer you go on, the longer you have uh, the possibility of you know, also getting the free agent with bar advancement. So I uh, hope this is helpful, uh, interesting, maybe uh, learning something outside of, uh, you know, just MLB as well, uh, how to think about things. If, if you all are younger, you'd be like, mom, are you playing MLB nine innings? No, I'm learning about Monte Carlo simulations. So there you go. It's a good excuse if you're if you're younger. But I use this type of stuff for work, so uh, it's something I've done before um, to do a, a quick quick simulation on different outcomes. Um, anyway, hope this is helpful. Uh, check the description for. Um, the link to where the file will be. Um, every time you hit enter uh, on the file, if you go to a cell and then hit enter, I don't think it'll work on this mobile version. Um, oh, it did. Okay, look at that. Um, these these numbers uh, will change. So, um, and notice here, um, these numbers changed here as well. So you, with 200 simulations, you will see, um, you know, some variance up and down. That's why I did it. 
the 6,500 times kind of uh, pretty much aired out any uh, variation from run to run. So go ahead, check it out. Let me know if you have any questions uh, later.